Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're going to get into some Major League Baseball action for August 28th, but before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So we have a full slate of games for the 28th. We're going to take a look at six of them as we're getting closer and closer to the playoff time, so every series, every game is vitally important. So let's get started and take a look at some of these matchups. The first one we want to look at as we scroll down through the list of games is the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. Pirates head into the game dead while the Phillies are burning hot. You see the Pirates have lost their last five and they're one and five out of their last six. While the Phillies are on a three-game winning streak and are four and two over their last six. Ronzi Contreras is scheduled to pitch for the Pirates. The Phillies have not yet named their starter. Contreras on the season is... 3-4 and the 3.86 ERA, but it's been a poor bet at minus $186. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see the Phillies are up here at plus 26 on their recent uh, winning streak, and the Pirates are down here at plus 7. If you look at the over-under, you see the Phillies have been over in 3 out of their last 4 games, while the Pirates have been involved in games over the line of 5 out of their last 6, a good indication that this is probably going to be a high-scoring game. And you see the score prediction has the Phillies in a blowout by an 11 to 1 score with about 54% level of confidence. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable the two teams have been, you see the Phillies are at plus 10, while the Pirates are at plus 30. Consistent doesn't necessarily mean good, it just means that they are consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. The Pirates will be an underdog, the Phillies will win this one in a game going over the line. Tampa Bay and Boston, Los Angeles and Toronto, Colorado and New York. Next game we want to look at as we scroll down through here is Baltimore and Houston. Houston comes in to play burning hot. You can see that they have won their last three and four of their last six. While the Orioles are averaged down, they are three and three over their last six as well. Austin Voth is scheduled to pitch for the Orioles. He is 0-0 with a very high ERA of 10.13. And uh, he has a very small sample size, so you take this uh, uh, value on the pitcher profit oscillator with a little bit of a grain of salt. He is a good bet right now at plus 628. In the over-under, you see that the Orioles have been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six. And the Astros have been involved in games over in five out of their last six. And the score prediction has the Astros in their blowout 9-1, to one, but only 33% level of confidence at this point. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that Houston is up to plus 27. They have increased from plus 8 over the last few days. While Baltimore has also increased, they were plus 5, and they are now up to uh, plus 18. If you look at um, volatility-wise, you can see that Houston is at plus 33. They have been a steady increase throughout the course. Um, while Baltimore has not been as consistent, they were as high as plus 10 back on May 18th, but they are now just at plus 3. Uh, in the end here, I like Houston. They're a considerably better team. I like them in a game going over the line. Chicago and Milwaukee. This is the next game we want to look at. Um, in this NL Central battle, you see that the Cubs are average stats at the moment while the Brewers are ice cold down. The Cubs have won... Uh, Let's see, three out of their last six and two out of their last three. While well, the Brewers have lost their last two, and they are just two and four over their last six. The pitching matchup, Adrian Sampson going for the Cubs versus Eric Lauer for the Brewers. Sampson is one and four with a 4.04 ERA. Um, his away ERA is pretty good, though, at 3.33. Lauer is nine and five with 3.44 ERA, but his home ERA has been very good also at 2.64, and he is... 32 in the top 100. The over-under, you can see both teams have been involved in games over the line. The score prediction has the Cubs by a 7 to nothing score with 44% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator shows that Milwaukee was at plus 27 a few days ago. They are now at plus 19. While the Cubs were at plus 9, they have upped to plus 11 over the last few days. The consistency factor, you can see that the Cubs are at plus 7. They have been up and down with that consistency factor all season. And Milwaukee is at plus 14. 
in the end, I think this is going to be a nice, solid game. I like the Cubs in this one on the road, and I think this will be a higher scoring game, so I like the Cubs and over the line. The next game we want to look at is the Giants and the Twins. Neither team is playing good ball lately. Uh, Giants ice cold down. They are just, if we can get this to work properly, there we go. The Giants are 2-4 over the last six, and the Twins have lost five out of the last six games. Jacob Junis is scheduled to pitch for the Giants. He is 4-3 at the 3.58 ERA. He is a good bet at plus $243 and has been decent on the road with an ERA of 3.67. You see that the over-under shows that both teams have been trending in games under the line, particularly Minnesota, 5 out of the last 6, while the Giants are uh, 3-3 three three as far as over-under in the last 6 games. The score prediction has the Giants by 6-5 to five score, but look at the level of confidence, only 23% up to this point. The power ranking indicator shows the Giants on the upward trend. They were at zero on the 21st, and they have increased to plus 15 just over the last few days. While the Twins have been on the downward trend, they were at plus 25, and they have sunk to plus 6. In the end, I like the Twins at home, but I am going to avoid the over-under bet in this game. Tigers and the Rangers. We want to look at the Yankees and the A's. The Yankees come into play burning hot winning three, their last three games, and they're 3-3 three and three over their last six. Oakland is average stats. They are also 3-3 three and three over their last six games, and they are coming off of a win. The power ranking indicator shows Oakland was at plus 26, and they have dipped to plus 5, while the Yankees on the up, uh, reverse trend, plus 3, uh, just on August 21st, and they have increased to plus 26 over just a two-day period of time. The score prediction has the Yankees by a 9-3 score, a healthy margin of victory with about 46% level of confidence. The stability factor shows that both teams have been very consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog stats. You can see the Yankees have been have gone down a little bit lately. They were up as high as plus 33, but probably because they haven't been playing as well lately. Um, I don't know. Let's see. It's been... Yeah, there it is. Uh, plus 33 on August 1st, and they had that little skid there where they're most likely favorites in a lot of their games, and they weren't playing well, so that's what's showing the decline right there. In the end, I like the Yankees. They are the better team, but I would avoid the over-under bet. And the last game we want to look at is this uh, Atlanta Braves and the St. Louis Cardinals. This is a great matchup. This you know, two NL contending teams. So it's a great matchup here. The Braves are burning hot at the moment. Winners of five out of the last six, while the Cardinals are average at the moment. And you can see right here that they have won four out of the last six, but they are just one and two over the last three. The pitching matchup is Jake Odorizzi for the Braves and Adam Wainwright for the Cardinals. Odorizzi is four and three with a 3.75 ERA, and his ERA on the road is just about the same at 3.72, but he has been a poor bet at minus $200. Adam Wainwright is even up on the season with wins and losses at 9-9, nine nine. good ERA of 3.11, and has been a solid bet at plus 109, and his home ERA is excellent at 2.11. If you take a look at the over-under, the Braves have been involved in games over the line in 5 out of their last 6, uh, Houston in 4 out of their last 5. The power rankings indicator shows the Cardinals they were at plus 29 for a while, steady, they dropped a little bit, but still plus 25, while the Braves have not climbed past them at plus 28. It's going to be a great matchup. Um, let's take a look at the volatility oscillator quickly. And we can see here that both teams have been very, very stable, very consistent. Plus 41 for the Braves, plus 33 for the Cardinals. And this one here, I like the Braves. I like the Braves in a game going under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for August the 28th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.